Hi friends and families. Welcome to another book exploration. This one is from the Smithsonian Handbooks and this is Butterflies and Moths by David Carter. This is what I would call a reference book. So I'm going to use this book to identify what types of butterflies are we seeing at our garden plot. So let's go through a couple of the butterflies we might see when we're outside. So this first page shows us four different types of swallowtails. But the ones that live in the United States where we live are these two. The one that I spotted at our garden recently was the Old World Swallowtail. But you could just call it a swallowtail butterfly. And you'll notice these red dots and the little blue bit right above there. That's how I know that was the one I saw. This one doesn't have those blue bits. So I knew it was this type of swallowtail. Beautiful. Let's look at another that we might spy flying around near where we live. Now I always see little white butterflies at the garden. This one is the one that I see most often near our kale. I've even spotted it laying eggs on our kale. And then the caterpillars of this butterfly eat that kale. They also like to eat lettuce or cabbage. So do you know what this one is called? It's a cabbage butterfly. Yeah. So that's the little white one with little black spots. And I watched him really closely the other day to make sure that this was the exact one I was seeing. And it was. So there's our cabbage butterfly. So we have our yellow swallowtail. We have our cabbage butterfly. We also have our sulfur butterfly. So when you see a bright, bright yellow butterfly without a whole lot of other colors, you'll know this is a sulfur butterfly. I see those sometimes at the garden. The next one. This one is very special to my nephew because he has a lot of them near his house. I do see these sometimes at the garden. This black butterfly with some cream colored tips on its wings and some blue dots is a morning cloak butterfly. Their caterpillar has big spikes on it and red marks, but it looks very different from when it comes out as a butterfly. So if you see a black butterfly, it just might be a morning cloak. So we've had a yellow with black and a little bit of blue. That's our swallowtail. We've had our white one. That's our cabbage butterfly. We've had our bright, bright yellow one. That is our sulfur butterfly. And now this black butterfly is our morning cloak. So that's four. Let's see if there are any others we might spot. Now, this should look familiar to you. Do you know what kind of butterfly this is? This is the Gulf Fritillary butterfly. And this one is very special for our class because this is the type of butterfly that we raise in our classroom and outside. We have a vine called the passion flower vine and that's the place where these Fritillary butterflies go to lay their eggs. And then we see them come out as caterpillars and they eat that passion flower vine and then they make their cocoons. And this is how they come out with those beautiful little silver spots on one side of its wings. So when you see an orangish brownish butterfly with little silver spots, you can say, hey, that's our saddleback butterfly. And it's a Gulf Fritillary. Now this last one I'm gonna show you, number six, is the one that we are most familiar with usually. And this is our monarch butterfly. So the monarchs are the butterflies that 
the caterpillars live on the milkweed and they only eat milkweed and they make beautiful lime green cocoons with little gold dots on them. And when they come out, they are a big, beautiful monarch butterfly. So this one we see quite often and we study about it and have books about it in our classrooms. But it's just one of so many different types of butterflies and moths. So when you're drawing butterflies or spying butterflies, you could use any color you want. Notice the colors. I did notice in this book that a lot of our blue butterflies are down where it's very warm and wet in the rainforests in South America. And each butterfly's caterpillar even looks different. There's so much to learn about butterflies. So if you enjoy learning about butterflies and seeing all the different types, this would be a great book for you. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed identifying some butterflies and we'll see you again soon. Bye.